If you are a content creator of any kind, you know just how frustrating and slow and just time consuming video editing can be. I know because I've been there as well, where I'm trying to spend hours to just figure out how to do a simple thing with my video, or even once I figured it out, it's just not efficient, right? I just feel frustrated with how slowly my video is progressing. Well, thankfully, nowadays we have some amazing pieces of software out there that can really automate a lot of these tedious processes and make your entire workflow just way quicker so you can produce more content, reach more people and make more money. In this video, I'm going to be showing you amazing tips in Filmora by Wondershare, which are going to be able to take your video editing to the next level and also just do everything way faster. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The first feature I'm going to show you, which is one of my favorites, is the multi-cam uh, clips feature, right? Now, this is something that really blew me away when I first tried using it because it's just so easy compared compared to manually editing multi-camera footage, right? Whether you're making a podcast or even just a simple YouTube video, but you have multiple angles, it can be really tedious to actually, you know, switch between the angles and match all those clips up and so on. But with Filmora, what you can do is literally just import all your angles into the software. Then you can right click on it and click here on create multi-camera clip. You can now name it to whatever you want. I'm just going to name this interview and you can choose whether you want it to synchronize it based on the first frame or the audio. Now I want to synchronize these through audio right now. And it's also automatically going to create proxy files to make your editing workflow even smoother. Now you can also turn this off if you want, but I'm just going to leave it on for now. Click on OK. And right now it's basically auto synchronizing all these different three angles that I have of the same segment uh, that I was saying. And just like that, it was able to sync up all these three different clips. As you can see, this is angle number one, angle number two, and angle number three. So when you first create it, this might be all that you see, but you just have to click here on view multi camera view, right? And then you will see all these three different ones as well. And if I just start my, you know, clip and I start playing it on my timeline and then I click on the certain one I want to have uh, playing as the main angle that's actually visible, it will switch between them. So let me show you. So traditionally, boom, camera boom, like this one would be really time consuming and challenging, but you can see just how easy it is to do it with this amazing feature. So as you can see, as I was clicking on either angle one, two or three, it was also making those cuts on my timeline. And now if I go back on my main view again, you can see that it is switching between the different angles. So editing something like an interview would be so easy with this. And I just love this feature. It can save me so much time. All right, next up, I want to show you speech to text and also the AI lip syncing and translation feature. Now with this, uh, first of all, I guess with the speech to text, you can literally just click on one button right here. And then after that, it's going to automatically transcribe your entire sequence and create captions for you. So gone are the days when you would have to do that manually. You can even just select it to detect the language. Uh, if you need to have it translated off the bat to a different language, it can also do that for you, which is super cool. But uh, yeah, and then I can just click on generate. It's also going to uh, go ahead and match up the exact text with what I'm saying at every single point of the video. And you can see right here, I can see that it's uploading it now. It's gonna then transcribe it and then apply those exact text to my video. All right, so as you can see now it's completed. And if I go on my clip, I have the actual text and uh, you know the transcription here on my clip, which is super cool. Now, if I want to translate it, I just have to right click on it again, click here on AI translation, and then I can actually translate both the voice and the caption as well if I want. So I'm gonna actually select that. You can see that you can choose the source language right here. So I'm going to leave it on English US and you can also choose the target language which you want to translate it to. They have quite a lot of options right here. I'm gonna choose German right now. And they even have this lip syncing function where it's going to animate your mouth to mimic the actual language that you are translating it to. I'm going to turn this on. Keep in mind, this is in beta, so it's not going to be always 100% perfect, but it is pretty damn close. Uh, and then I'm going to click here on uh, translate. And right now it's going to process my clip and it's going to create an AI generated version of this 
but in German, right? And it's also gonna change the way kind of like I was speaking or my mouth to match the exact words I'm saying now in German. So let's take a look at how this will turn out. So as you can see, our translation has already finished and it basically translated, well, not only the captions to German, but also my actual voice. So let's listen to it. Wie Sie das sehen können, Apfel ist deutlich rot. So that is pretty impressive. If you ask me, uh, as you can see, it actually animated my mouth to match the uh, German words as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say? I don't speak perfect German, but I know that, you know, that is exactly what I was saying. In English version, what I was saying is that this apple is clearly red and it means the same thing in German as well. So pretty cool, right? Like just imagine where this technology is going to be six months, a year from now, and it's only gonna get better as well. Now, the next feature I'm going to show you is the text to speech feature. So this is amazing if you either, you know, don't want to spend money on getting someone to narrate your video or you don't feel confident narrating it yourself, or maybe you just don't have the time to do it, right? If it's any of those scenarios, you can literally use text and then basically turn it into voice using this software. So let me just write a sentence uh, in here. So I'm just going to put in uh, here, for example, video editing is a great skill to learn, right? So I wrote this in here, as you can see, it's a text layer. And if I come here to text to speech, I can choose the language, which I want it to be. And I can also even select my own AI clone voice or any of these AI speaker voices. As you can see, there are so many different ones to choose from, uh, but you can also create your own. Now, all you have to do to start cloning your own voice is to basically read out a little paragraph and record yourself reading that out uh, to the software. And then after that, it's going to analyze that clip and clone you basically, right? So I'm going to try this with my own voice and also with one of these other ones. And you can see the results that it got. All right. So here we are. Uh, this is how it sounds like right now. Video editing is a great skill to learn. So that sounds exactly like me. Now let's listen to this other person as well. Video editing is a great skill to learn. So again, if you don't want to narrate the video yourself or you don't have the time to do it, this text to speech feature can come in really handy. Now, last but not least, I want to show you the magnetic timeline feature, which can make your editing just way quicker. So basically to enable this, you just come here and click on this and now it's enabled. Now, what this is going to do is if you drag and drop something on your timeline, let's say I drag and drop this clip and I drag and drop another clip in here as well. As you can see, the clips snap together. So for example, if you're editing a long vlog where you have to put a lot of stuff on the timeline, you will not have these gaps in between the clips as you drag them in, but but it will just get rid of the space in between them instantly. So you don't even need to do any sort of a ripple delete. And you can see even if I change up their order or anything like that, they just automatically snap in together. So I personally much prefer editing this way compared to, you know, just the regular timeline. So this is another great feature that they have in Filmora. So to summarize everything that we have talked about today, we covered the split screen for multi perspective videos. Uh, it is an amazing feature when you have more than one camera angles and you're trying to switch between them, such as for interviews or even more advanced YouTube videos. We also covered the speech to text feature and also the the AI translation with the lip syncing to be able to number one, create captions for your videos effortlessly, and also to be able to even translate your videos, not only your voice, but also the captions to other languages, uh, which is not the native language of the video. We also covered the text to speech feature, which allows you to create narration really easily, even if you don't want to do it yourself. And we even covered the magnetic timeline to make your editing process just way quicker. So I really hope you enjoy this and I really hope you're going to be able to actually implement these tools as well for yourself, just like how I've been able to implement them as well in my workflow to make even this video to make the entire process just way quicker. If you want to try out Filmora for yourself as well, go ahead and click the first link in the description below to download their app and also check out their YouTube channel where you can find even more tutorials about how to use their software. So thank you Filmora for supporting the channel and making this video possible. And thank you to you for watching all the way until the end.